C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 14 symmetry page 270 14.3 rotational symmetry what do you say when the hands of a clock go round you say that they rotate. The hands of a clock rotate in only one direction. About a fixed point, the center of the clock face. Rotation, like movement of the hands of a clock, is called a clockwise rotation. Otherwise, it is said to be anti-clockwise. Page 271 what can you say about the rotation of the blades of a ceiling fan? Do they rotate clockwise or anticlockwise? Or do they rotate both ways? If you spin the wheel of a bicycle, it rotates. It can rotate in either way, both clockwise and anticlockwise. Give three examples each for 1. A clockwise rotation and 2. Anti clockwise rotation. When an object rotates, its shape and size do not change. The rotation turns an object about a fixed point. This fixed point is the center of rotation. What is the center of rotation of the hands of a clock? Think about it. The angle of turning during rotation is called the angle of rotation. A full turn, you know, means a rotation of 360 degrees. What is the degree measure of the angle of rotation for 1. A half turn 2. A quarter turn A half turn means rotation by 180 degrees. A quarter turn is rotation by 90 degrees. When it is 12 o'clock, the hands of a clock are together. By three o'clock, the minute hand would have made three complete turns, but the hour hand would have made only a quarter turn. What can you say about their positions at six o'clock? Have you ever made a paper windmill? The paper windmill in the picture looks symmetrical, figure 14.11, but you do not find any line of symmetry. No folding can help you to have coincident halves. However, if you rotate it by 90 degrees, about the fixed point, the windmill will look exactly the same. We say the windmill has a rotational symmetry. In a full turn, there are precisely four positions on rotation through the angles 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360 degrees when the windmill looks exactly the same. Because of this, we say it has a rotational symmetry of order 4. Here is one more example for rotational symmetry. Consider a square with P as one of its corners. Figure 14.13 let us perform quarter turns about the center of the square marked. Page 272 Figure 14.131 is the initial position. Rotation by 90 degrees about the center leads to figure 14.132. Note the position of P now. Rotate again through 90 degrees and you get figure 14.133. In this way, when you complete four quarter turns, the square reaches its original position. It now looks the same as figure 14.131. This can be seen with the help of the positions taken by P. Thus, a square has a rotational symmetry of order 4 about its center. Observe that in this case, 
1. The center of rotation is the center of the square. 2. The angle of rotation is 90 degrees. 3. The direction of rotation is clockwise. 4. The order of rotational symmetry is 4. Try these. 1. A. Can you now tell the order of the rotational symmetry for an equilateral triangle? Figure 14.14 B. How many positions are there at which the triangle looks exactly the same when rotated about its centre by 120 degrees? 2. Which of the following shapes? Figure 14.15 have rotational symmetry about the marked point. Do this. Draw two identical parallelograms, one ABCD on a piece of paper and the other A-B-C-D on a transparent sheet. Mark the points of intersection of their diagonals O and O dash, respectively. Figure 14.16. Place the parallelograms such that A dash lies on A, B dash lies on B, and so on. O dash then falls on O. Page 273. Stick a pin into the shapes at the point O. Now, turn the transparent shape in the clockwise direction. How many times do the shapes coincide in one full round? What is the order of rotational symmetry? The point where we have the pin is the center of rotation. It is the intersecting point of the diagonals in this case. Every object has a rotational symmetry of order 1 as it occupies same position after a rotation of 360 degrees, that is one complete revolution. Such cases have no interest for us. You have around you many shapes which possess rotational symmetry. Figure 14.17 We have a fruit, a road sign and a wheel shown here. For example, when you slice certain fruits, the cross-sections are shapes with rotational symmetry. This might surprise you when you notice them. Figure 14.171 Then there are many road signs that exhibit rotational symmetry. Next time when you walk along a busy road, try to identify such road signs and find about the order of rotational symmetry. Figure 14.172 Think of some more examples for rotational symmetry. Discuss in each case, 1. The center of rotation, 2. The angle of rotation, 3. The direction in which the rotation is affected, and 4. The order of the rotational symmetry. Try these. Give the order of the rotational symmetry of the given figures about the point marked X. Figure 14.17 Page 274 Exercise 14.2 1. Which of the following figures have rotational symmetry of order more than 1? In this question, six figures are given from A to F in which each figure's center is marked as X. 2. Give the order of rotational symmetry for each figure. In this question, eight figures are given from A to H. 14.4 Line symmetry and rotational symmetry You have been observing many shapes and their symmetries so far. By now you would have understood that some shapes have only line symmetry, some have only rotational symmetry, and some have both line symmetry and rotational symmetry. For example, consider the square shape, 
Figure 14.19. How many lines of symmetry does it have? Does it have any rotational symmetry? If yes, what is the order of the rotational symmetry? Think about it. The circle is the most perfect symmetrical figure because it can be rotated around its center through any angle and at the same time it has unlimited number of lines of symmetry. Observe any circle pattern. Every line through the center, that is every diameter, forms a line of reflectional symmetry and it has rotational symmetry around the center for every angle. Page 275 Do this. Some of the English alphabets have fascinating symmetrical structures. Which capital letters have just one line of symmetry, like E? Which capital letters have a rotational symmetry of order 2, like I? By attempting to think on such lines, you will be able to fill in the following table. Here's a table with five columns. Alphabet letters, line symmetry, number of lines of symmetry, rotational symmetry, order of rotational symmetry. Z, no, 0, yes, 2. S, dash, 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 dash. H, yes, dash, yes, dash. O, yes, dash, yes, dash. E, yes, dash, dash, dash. N, dash, dash, yes, dash. C, dash, 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 dash. Exercise 14.3 1. Name any two figures that have both line symmetry and rotational symmetry. 2. Draw wherever possible a rough sketch of 1. A triangle with both line and rotational symmetries of order more than 1. 2. A triangle with only line symmetry and no rotational symmetry of order more than 1. 3. A quadrilateral with a rotational symmetry of order more than 1, but not a line symmetry. 4. A quadrilateral with line symmetry, but not a rotational symmetry of order more than 1. 3. If a figure has two or more lines of symmetry, should it have rotational symmetry of order more than 1? 4. Fill in the blanks. Here's a table with four columns. Shape, center of rotation, order of rotation, angle of rotation. The shapes are given here. You have to fill in the rest of the table. The shapes are square, rectangle, rhombus, equilateral triangle, regular hexagon, circle, semicircle. Page 276. 5. Name the quadrilaterals which have both line and rotational symmetry of order more than 1. 6. After rotating by 60 degrees about a center, a figure looks exactly the same as its original position. At what other angles will this happen for the figure? 7. Can we have a rotational symmetry of order more than 1, whose angle of rotation is 1, 45 degrees, 2, 17 degrees? What have we discussed? 1. A figure has line symmetry if there is a line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure will coincide. 2. Regular polygons have equal sides and equal angles. They have multiple, that is, more than one lines of symmetry. 3. Each regular polygon has as many lines of symmetry as it has sides. Regular polygon, number of lines of symmetry. Regular hexagon, 6. Regular pentagon, 5. Square, 4. Equilateral triangle, 3. 4. 
mirror reflection leads to symmetry under which the left-right orientation have to be taken care of. 5. Rotation turns an object about a fixed point. This fixed point is the center of rotation. The angle by which the object rotates is the angle of rotation. A half turn means rotation by 180 degrees. A quarter turn means rotation by 90 degrees. Rotation may be clockwise or anti-clockwise. 6. If, after a rotation, an object looks exactly the same, we say that it has a rotational symmetry. 7. In a complete turn of 360 degrees, the number of times an object looks exactly the same is called the order of rotational symmetry. The order of symmetry of a square, for example, is 4, while for an equilateral triangle, it is 3. 8. Some shapes have only one line of symmetry, like the letter E. Some have only rotational symmetry, like the letter S and some have both symmetries, like the letter H. The study of symmetry is important because of its frequent use in day-to-day -day life and more because of the beautiful designs it can provide us. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator, Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India